Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of the Polymath Show. In this video I'm going to do an unboxing or rather an unbagging of a three-point lighting system that I just picked up. This is a Cinematics uh, three-point lighting system. Um, I'm going to we're going to open up the bag and see what's inside um, and then I'm going to set up the lights and um, show you guys what they look like. So this thing comes in a comes in a bag like this. Um, I'm going to look up the specs for this in a second here for you guys. If I remember correctly, I think it's, it's about, um, between the three lights, I think it's about 6,600, um, 6,600 watts. I'll look it up in a second. So these are um, what I'm taking out right now. These are the light bulb that light bulbs that come with the system. So there are three lights. Each light has um, four bulbs, and they are they're fluorescent bulbs. So they're fluorescent bulbs like this. These are 55 watts, I believe. Yeah, 55 watt, 5500, uh, uh, I believe it's Kelvin, 5500 Kelvin. I think that's the proper format. Um, so let's open this up. I'm just going to take everything out of the bag and put the bag on the floor and we'll dive in and look at what all the stuff is. So this is the stand, I'm assuming. Oops. So this is the the stand for the lights. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but so basically it um, looks like this. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. It just opens up, stands up, and then these things um, You can raise or you can raise or lower these to um, whatever height you need. So that's the stand. Um, This would be the soft box. Nice. So this is the soft box. It's hard to show it on camera. And it basically just snaps in. So 
So there is a, this piece here in the middle, I don't know if you guys can see that, this piece here right in the middle, it just kind of snaps in place. That's kind of cool. Okay, and then we've got the that's the light splitter. So there's a slot here for um, there's a slot in the middle here for one bulb, um, but you can do one or you can do four. So this kit comes with one of these things, which basically just, uh, it screws in on one end here and then it splits it into four. So you can put four light bulbs in there. So that just fits in there. And then all we need to do is just put four bulbs in there. That's one. Let's get a few more bulbs out here. That's three. And that's four. All right, so we've got the, we got the bulbs mounted like that. So they just fit in right in the middle. And then this mounts in here. And there we go. So that just attaches on the side here. And you can, by loosening this, you can adjust the angle of the light. So you can adjust it up and down. And of course, this thing can allow you to adjust the height. We'll just leave it like this. Let's plug it in and see what it looks like. And here goes nothing. Nice. So we'll shine it at the camera and blind it, blind the camera. So of course, when I, you know, shine it at the camera, it's, it makes it look, everything else look really dark, but basically, that's what it looks like. Now, there's also this um, softener that you put on top here.
just like that. And it has like a, it basically just fits on with Velcro. Like so. Just like that. And that basically just diffuses the light and softens a bit so it's not, you don't see the actual individual bulbs, you just see a one big light source. Wow, that's pretty bright. Cool, well, I'm gonna pause the video here. I'm just gonna uh, set up the other two and we'll take a look at what, what it looks like with, uh, with all three of them. All right, so I'm just gonna pause the video for a few minutes and I'll be back. Hey guys, so as you can see, I'm surrounded by lights right now. Um, I'm gonna turn them on just so you guys can see. Now, obviously this is probably not the best idea because I'm shining the lights at the camera, but what I'll do is um, I'll just turn them on so you guys can see and then afterwards I'm gonna move the lights um, behind the camera and then we'll do a little light check to see what they look like uh, when I turn off all the other lights except for these ones, okay? So, um, I don't know if there's really much point to turning them on like this because all you're gonna see is just these three bright lights and you obviously can't see me here. See my arm, but. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn these guys off and I'm gonna position them in the room um, behind the camera over there and over there. And um, I'll turn off all the other lights and then we'll come back and turn them on one by one so you guys can see what it looks like with uh, with the three of them on, all right? So we'll pause it here and we'll be back in a sec. Hey guys, I'm back. So what I've done is I've positioned the lights um, in the scene. I turned off all the lights in the room except for I have uh, one, uh, one bulb above me here, uh, which is just a standard bulb in the room. As you can see, I mean, I, I haven't played with the settings in the camera, but as you can see, it's really dark in here and the, and the lighting is, uh, it's got a kind of a yellow tint to it. Um, I don't know if you guys can see my cat here on the, on the table. She can be my model for this, uh, for this shoot. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the main light and all you're gonna see is pretty much black on the camera. You're gonna see total darkness. And then I'm gonna turn off, or I'm gonna turn on the lights one at a time. So I've got a light to the left of the camera, I've got a, or to my left, and then I got another light to the, to the right. And then I position one of the lights in the back here. I haven't played with the positioning yet or you know how far away I wanna put the lights. Um, but I just wanna give you guys a quick, um, look to see what the lights look like. Uh, I'll turn them on one at a time so you can see what the scene looks like with the lights on, all right? So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn off the main light in the room. And as you can see, it's pretty dark in here. Well, you guys can't see anything probably. So now I'm gonna turn on the main light or the, the first light to the, to, well, to the right of the camera. Okay, so that's, that's what it looks like with uh, one light on. So as you can see, it's fairly bright with even just one of the lights, but of course you can see the shadows uh, behind me. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the light here to the camera's left or to my right. All right, so now we've got two lights on. And yeah, it's pretty bright, eh? I, I, I can't tell because the lights are shining in my, on me, so I'll have to wait till I see the actual video. Um, and now I'm gonna turn on the third light here. And there we go, so that's with all three lights on. Um, so when I paused the video, I looked it up online, and these are, uh, these three lights, they each have four bulbs. The bulbs are 55 watts each, so that's 220 watts per light, um, which is 660 watts of power that these draw. And, uh, but these are fluorescent bulbs, so they're the actual equivalent 
light that they uh, put out is about uh, 2,880 watts. So you're getting almost 2,900, almost 3,000 watts of, uh, of, of light with this kit. Um, of course, with these bulbs, it only draws 660 watts. So um, I'm going to play with these lights a little bit more, uh, play with the positioning. I'll use them in my next uh, videos. And then uh, once I've actually you know, played with them a bit more and tested out what they look like um, on camera, uh, I'll do a more thorough review for you guys. Okay, so that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.